What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out the physics placement tool contained inside of Twinmotion 2022.2. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so first off, remember that my Twinmotion Essentials rendering course is currently in early access. Um, that course is going to give you start to finish instruction on exactly how to use Twinmotion from using the different tools to creating renderings, other things like that. Um, it's going to be somewhere where you can actually go and not only learn how to use the rendering program, but, but it's also gonna give you a place where you can go to get help inside of the community forum. So if that's something you're interested in, it's currently available in early access for 50% off. You can get to that by going to the rendering essentials com slash twin motion course. Okay, so I think this is a function that's been a little bit overlooked um, because a lot of people don't think that they want to use physics. But to me, um, the physics piece of it is actually really useful and I'll tell you why. So um, let's say, for example, that we bring a bunch of different objects into our model, right? So in this case, I've just got a couple plants. Well, at the moment, um, if I bring those in and I don't drag them onto the surface, what I have to do is like manually find the base of the surface, right? But the problem with that is placing those things can be a little bit tricky. Um, finding the exact intersection point between the objects can be a little bit hard and it can be time consuming. However, with this tool, what it does is it basically applies gravity to objects. So let's say I was to select this object and click on this button right here for gravity. Note that it does say that it's in early access. I can toggle gravity on by clicking on it. And then I can toggle gravity back off by turning it off. Well, what that does is that gives us a tool that actually makes it really easy to select multiple objects by doing a control click, click this drop down, and it lets us place those objects on surfaces like this. So I spend a ton of time fine tuning things inside of Twin Motion. This gives me the ability to drop these down onto those surfaces really quickly. And so another great application for this is you can also use it to um, place objects in a bowl or something like this. And so previously what you would have had to do is you would have had to take these objects and just kind of manually drop them down and like find the location in here, right? Of where those would go inside of this bowl. So again, they wouldn't look very natural. You'd have to like individually do rotations and other things like that. Well, you don't really have to do that anymore because you can use the physics placement tool in order to do that. So you can do a control click to select multiple different objects. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on this button right here. And those are mostly going to drop. So, and again, remember this is kind of an early access, so things might act a little funky um, every now and then. But we're gonna drop this in here. Well, those are going to fall down into the bowl and they're gonna roll and rotate. And then, so what you might do with these is you might click on the outliner right here and select these objects and then just use the shift key and make a copy of them like this. We're gonna click on okay. And then you can just select all of your limes and apply gravity to them like this. So you can use this to drop objects into a bowl and make something that looks really natural in here, just like this. And then one other function that's in here is you can also select the option for move with collision. And I found this one to be kind of on or off in the way that it works, but um, you could use the move with collision function right here to move this object. And notice how I can move it over and it's kind of colliding with the objects that are in here. So you can use this in order to move objects while also using collision and then gravity in order to replace these objects a little bit um, if you don't like the way that they look. So again, that one is a little clunky to me right now, but it's still in early access. So I'm excited to see where that goes. And so there's also something to be said for just playing with the physics in general. So like if I have all of these blocks and I apply gravity to them, you can use this to drop a block down on the other objects like this which again, not only can allow you to have some fun with physics, but also give you more natural object placement inside of your scenes. All right, so I think this is one of the more underrated features that came out in this new version. I actually use it all the time for just placing objects on surfaces, but I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. What do you think about the physics placement tool? Are you using it? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you are interested in learning Twin Motion, I'll link to the course on this page. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.